Hi, I'm Monica Passanetto Fricelli, co-founder of One Concept. Welcome to this One Concept training video. At One Concept, we support your health, your clients, your business, and most of all, your planet. Our vision is to offer progressive healthcare providers the latest information on the best environmentally friendly products and healthy practices. By joining the One Revolution, you are able to meet the demands of enlightened clients who are insisting on treatments and products which will restore our one planet for our children and future generations. The One Concept family is inclusive and we welcome environmentally conscious spas, clinics, massage therapists, yoga studios and any other progressive healthcare provider. The benefits of joining One Concept include access to the newest green products and practices, an extensive marketing and network support program, and the training and education which will put you ahead of the competition. One Concept supports products, services, and manufacturers that are working towards becoming more environmentally conscious. The following video will supply you with the education and the knowledge needed to maximize the benefits of our wide selection of products. The video will ensure that you have the latest training on how to use these chosen One Concept products and educate your team and clients on the advantages of being environmentally conscious. As a leader in green healthcare, you have become a part of the solution which will lead to a healthier environment for your team, your clients, and ultimately, your planet. One Concept, One Planet, One Solution. Enjoy the video. Hi, today I'm very excited to introduce Beautiful One with Roxandra Cipriani. Hi, Thank Rex. You. Uh, Roxandra is a professional One Concept esthetician and holistic practitioner. Beautiful One was designed specifically for One Concept and One Concept members. It is a simple organic skincare line designed for the health professional in mind to use on their clients. Beautiful One was created by Anna de Pellegrin, who is a registered nurse and certified aromatherapist. Her primary goal for this line is for everyone to achieve beautiful skin without the toxicity of chemicals. This informative video will describe the choice of essential oils for the line, how they affect the body both physiologically and psychologically, and how to do a simple facial treatment with the products to enhance your existing practice. This line is very easy to use. It's made from organic products and essential oils and was developed especially for the progressive health professional in mind. Learn more about how to elevate your business by incorporating this fun, new, and simple technique into your practice. Okay, Rex, let's talk about what essential oils are. Well, Monica, essential oils are the lifeblood of the plant and are essential for their survival, which mm -hmm. is why they're called essential. <laughs> <laughs> These oils give plants their characteristic aroma and properties. Essential oils are found in various parts of the plant, um, like for example the flowers, the seeds, the bark, uh, the root, uh, and the, the wood, and the sap, and the leaves of mm -hmm. course. Um, they're oxygenating, regenerating, and also the immune defense uh, system of the plants. They're highly concentrated plant essences with highly therapeutic properties. Um, and it's interesting to note that oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen are three elements um, that are common to both humans and essential oils. These properties make the essential oils uh, greatly compatible with human chemistry. Which, which is, is very important. Yes, yes, that's why they're absorbed so readily by our bodies. Um, it's good to note that they're powerful and um, uh, also volatile. Now when you uh, say substances. volatile, you're thinking I'm, I'm thinking that you shouldn't <laughs> leave them exposed to air very, very much. Oh, is that what you mean? Okay, That's so they, I mean. they, yeah, they evaporate quickly. Yes, they do. Um, and uh, they're also very complex in their molecular structure. Mm -hmm. um, essential oils are uh, lipid soluble uh, and very small in their molecular structure so uh, that they get uh, absorbed by the skin very easily. Mm -hmm. Um, they also penetrate uh, all the skin layers because of their cellular structure and the cell walls. Pure essential oils help uh, transport nutrients to the cells and they also help detoxify the blood. Wonderful. Yes. 
So, Monica, could you please tell us a little bit about the chemistry of essential oils? We're getting a little heavy, but absolutely. Essential oils are very complex in nature, having many chemical ingredients. Each, um, each essential oil has anywhere from 80 to 400 chemical compounds, which all contribute to the oil's therapeutic actions. The chemical structure of an essential oil determines its functions. And with all those uh, properties, uh, ingredients, 400 ingredients, that must mean a lot of properties. A lot of properties. And we'll get into that a little bit, little bit later. Right. It is the chemistry of the oil that determines the aroma, the color, and the degree of volatility. Again, how quickly it evaporates. <laughs> and, <that's> like, boom. <laughs> <laughs> and the ways in which the oil interacts with the human body. And as previously stated before, essential oil molecules are made up primarily for, um, of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, which makes them compatible with our human chemistry. The aromatic constituents of essential oils are made from hydrocarbon chains. So now we're getting a little bit deep now. So we're talking about hydrocarbon chains, which are carbon and hydrogen atoms. They're joined together in a ring-like chemical structure. The chains are held together by carbon atoms, which are linked together. Oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, and other carbon atoms attach at various points of the chain to make the different oils. So again, very complex in nature. This is something, a, a plant oil is not just something that we're smelling. I know it's lovely to smell, but it's a lot more. This is, this is medicinal, this is therapeutic, this is science. This is science, it's been around for over 5,000 years. These essential oils and have... there's a reason for And that. there is. Yes. And yes, there is. Yeah. And historically, they've been used for, like I said, thousands of years to heal and support life-affirming practices. They're used regularly to this day in clinics and hospitals around the world, mm -hmm. especially in our clinic. Right. However, within the last couple of hundred years, essential oils have gradually been replaced with chemical synthetics for healing purposes. Now, these synthetics are chemical compounds produced more cheaply and in larger quantities than the pure grade oils. Now the problem with synthetic compounding has been described eloquently by Dr. Kurt Schnaubelt in his book Advanced Aromatherapy, The Science of Essential Oils. He states, essential oils have a 95% success potential against infections. But a century of research and evaluation has confirmed that essential oils are effective antimicrobial agents and they don't have the side effects that accompany antibiotics or synthetically produced chemicals. This is not surprising given the fact that antibiotics have weakened our immune systems producing resistant germs. We also see this resistance in the continuation of like cleaning products and chemical or synthetic cleaning products um, where in the in world wars they were using thyme oil back when there wasn't any big chemical company to produce. They were mm -hmm. using thyme oil as a disinfectant. And with the thyme oil you don't get that resistance. And may I say we are here as a race today because plant essences work, <laughs> or else we would have been extinct a while ago. <laughs> well, see, now that makes sense. I've never heard it put that way, but that would make sense. Even, mm. even conventional medicine readily admits that we've created a nightmare by overusing antibiotics. Frequent use causes microorganisms to build up a resistance to antibiotics. This resistance can also be seen in chemical disinfectants, and this is what I said before, and chemical, even the sanitizers. Okay, mm -hmm. essential oil um, oils represent a gentle and supportive approach to healing. They are metabolized in the cells like other nutrients. They're volatile, causing them to evaporate very quickly. We've mentioned this a couple times. So unlike many synthetic drugs, they don't accumulate in the body. And the remarkable qualities of essential oil chemistry make the oils a safe and natural alternative for healing the body. Okay, so let's talk about the function of essential oils in plants. All right, Monica. Essential oils are thought to perform the same functions in plants as hormones do in the human endocrine system, mm -hmm. and therefore are called plant hormones. They are essential to the vital processes of the plants, hence the name essential oils. Mm -hmm. Significant functions of essential oils in plants are as follows. Well, first, essential oils are the life force of the plant, enabling the plant to survive. 
Essential oils also circulate through plant tissues, path, pass rather through cell walls, and carry nutrition into the cells and waste products out of the cells. So that sounds like it's functioning like our, our blood, with yes. blood flow. Yeah. Exactly. Um, it also helps with pollination by attracting insects and bees with their odor and color. Our hormones. <laughs> right, our reproductive system. <laughs> our natural insect repellents, which help protect plants from being attacked by insects. Okay. Which sounds like uh, our uh, protection there against uh, anyone uh, we don't want germs. To... And... <laughs> <laughs> germs, exactly. Yeah. They also act as plant hormones, regulating plant functions. They also protect plants by fighting off bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites, which is what I was just trying to mm -hmm. say with not so many words before. They, are, they also protect injured plants by flowing to the wound and acting like an antiseptic, and it'll protect it from infection, and thereby beginning the healing process. Um, they also protect the plant from being injured by animals uh, by releasing a bad odor. That's amazing. Kind of like skunks. They also help shield plants from extreme temperatures. Now I find this really interesting. Due to the oil's help, the plants can maintain moisture and protect them from hot and cold climates. An example of this is um, frankincense, the essential oil frankincense. You can actually find frankincense, um, tr it's a tree, right? Yes, or it's tree. cooling, cooling, cooling. the tree it, itself. Yeah. It actually looks like a shroud around the tree in the heat of the desert to actually protect it and if you walk into it it'll actually feel cooler which very I think is very incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, and it also works towards homeostasis for the plant um, which helps it achieve a state of balance. Rex, you're the holistic practitioner. Can you tell us why essential oils are like a, have a holistic approach to them? Sure, Monica. Um, using essential oils in practice is uh, part of a holistic approach that uh, has been in use for centuries mm -hmm. um, that restores the body's balance. And uh, uh, because of the complex nature of the essential oils, they tend to go only where they are needed hmm. and assist um, in helping restore the body's natural balance. Um, our bodies are very smart that way, they only take what they need. Which is wonderful. Yes. Synthetic chemicals, on the other hand, uh, interrupt the body's homeostasis. Unlike synthetic chemicals now uh, that deposit in your organs and cause damage, essential oils do not remain in the body. Because they're so volatile. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> because um, they get excreted through the skin, kidney, and lungs, leaving behind no toxic oh, Okay, effects. well that makes sense. Just like food. Wonderful. So this is food for your skin. Some common chemicals used in skincare products um, that are harmful to the body are... Oh, let me, let me tell them. Okay, All right. go for it. We're not going to go into deep detail, but no, just please, a when, you reminder. Are, well, when you are reading a label, make sure you look, um, you know, read your label. And again, we discussed in, in another um, educational video that some longer words sound a little scary. Don't be scared of them, but you know what? Research them and look into them, but a some that you... And be aware. And be aware, yeah. um, because some might be very friendly. Um, but some of the ones that you should be looking in natural or skincare products and maybe your shampoos and, and, and anything that does go on the skin are things that say parabens to stay away from or um, SLS, sodium uh, lauryl sulfate or petroleum based, anything that says has a petrol in it, uh, fragrances. Fragrances are not necessarily... It's not really very descriptive. No, it's there not. there can be a lot of things under fragrances. Exactly. Um, mineral oils and butylene glycols. Please be aware. All right, let's go into the physiological effects of essential oils. Some of the... Um, complex chemical structures of essential oils provide effective physiological results that would include? Well, first they could be antiseptic, antibacterial, antifungal, mm -hmm. and antiviral. Right, broad spectrum. 
uh, they would detoxify and purify the blood. They can speed up the removal of old skin and stimulate the growth of new cells. Yes. They improve the skin tone thereby and uh, the blood circulation. Helps eliminate waste. They reduce inflammation. They can regulate sebum or um, your natural oil production. Some oils have astringent properties. They can be anti-aging. And uh, essential oils are liposolvent, which, we which allows before. them to, yes we did, um, allows them to easily penetrate the skin layers and be absorbed through the cells. Massage is an excellent way to help essential oils penetrate the skin as well as benefiting other parts of the body. In massage, essential oils aid in increasing metabolism and blood circulation, reduce pain and muscle stiffness caused by lactic acid buildup, and it relaxes the muscles. Essential oils can also relieve mental and physical fatigue. It can reduce tension and anxiety. It can speed up the healing process and improve skin tone, leaving the body feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. And balanced. And balanced. So what are some of the psychological effects of uh, essential oils? Hmm. Wow. Scent has an incredible impact on living organisms. Scientific research into the human sense of smell finds it to be 10,000 times more sensitive than any other senses. Wow. Okay, so 10,000 times. Scent travels rapidly to the brain and is shown to have a direct Effect on the limbic system, which communicates with the autonomic nervous system, controlling emotions, memory, heart rate, blood pressure, stress levels, hormonal balance, and visceral reactions. That's wonderful. A lot to think about psychologically. And instantly. And instantly. So let's talk about the spiritual effects of essential oils. Because the chemistry of pure essential oils um, retains the original healing intent of the plants from which they derive, they manifest an ability to organize and balance our vibrational energy, mm -hmm. because we're all energy. Um, if our bodies are out of balance and experiencing illness or dysfunction, the oils have the uh, ability to restore order and balance uh, the homeostasis to our various systems. So we've now talked about the essential oils that, um, that form as the basis or a part of our, our beautiful one line. And the essential oils do come from Eve Taylor Essential Oils, one of the top essential oil companies in the world to date. Uh, please go to our other one concept video, learn a little bit more about um, Eve Taylor specifically. But we also wanna talk a little more now about um, the carrier oils that are used in the Beautiful One skincare line. Um, our uh, skincare line is uh, using cold pressed vegetable oils um, and uh, they are cold pressed uh, to maintain their therapeutic benefits. Wonderful. And some of those are of course hydrating and emollient properties these cold pressed oils tend to protect and nourish the skin. Um, also prevent moisture evaporating from the skin. And it also supplies the skin with essential fatty acids, antioxidants and vitamins which have specific healing properties. In massage, cold pressed oils are probably one of the leading most therapeutic oils that you could ever use on, on, a, on a client. Mm -hmm. who's feeling unbalanced or, or stressed, um, please look into cold pressed oils. They are wonderful just for, for treatment and therapeutics. Nourishment for the skin. Okay, so let's get to the fun part, the demonstration. Look, look ahead to our future videos on the complete facial with one concept, but today we are going to do just very simple steps to get you started. Let's start with the cleanser. The cleanser um, is a beautiful uh, product, uh, which uh, of course we know uh, already that is uh, full of essential oils. So what's this that you're doing first though, Roxandra? This, um, 
I am just putting this beautiful, beautiful worm towel on the face of uh, my client. Um, it feels great, uh, but it also opens the pores. Okay. So that when I do apply the cleanser, um, it uh, gets right down to work and uh, it uh, removes all the impurities from the pores. And of course, the wider open they are, mm -hmm. the more impurities we can remove with that cleanser. So the cleanser. So the cleanser. Well, Let's have a look. This cleanser is uh, based on carrier oils and essential oils. And uh, the beautiful thing about uh, oils is that um, we don't get enough of them in, in our systems because people tend to be scared of oils. Yeah, a lot of people think that if they have oily skin, they don't want to put more oils on the skin and they tend to want to strip it or dry it out. Now this is a misconception, isn't it? It is because, um, you know, my favorite saying is that if you're fighting fire with fire, <laughs> you should also be fighting oils with oils. And uh, the uh, fighting property of these particular um, oils in the cleanser um, are um, um, based on the benefits of coconut oil mm -hmm. uh, that is a saturated oil, which means it doesn't really um, connect to anything. It doesn't uh, attach itself to anything. It just goes through um, and uh, washes everything out and then washes mm -hmm. off the skin. So that's one of the carrier oils then? So that is one of the carrier oils. Mm -hmm. Another one is uh, jojoba oil, which is uh, very close to our own uh, skin sebum. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, that makes it a, an excellent cleanser because uh, if it is the same as our skin, yes. then uh, it doesn't get absorbed. It just uh, cleanses right off and uh, removes all, its, uh, all the um, impurities with it. Um, also as essential oils, uh, we have lemon in here, mm -hmm. uh, which is, uh, as we know from uh, all the uh, lemon scented cleaning mm -hmm. products, mm -hmm. an excellent mm -hmm. cleaner. Yes. Um, and that's because it's, uh, it's also antiviral and antiseptic. antiseptic. And um, it does a beautiful job on the skin without being harsh. And, uh, Can you give us one other oil, essential oil? Um, well, I could uh, talk about uh, the geranium oil that's in it. Um, that's not exactly, um, well, it is a cleaner also because it's antiseptic, but it does uh, more in uh, balancing the skin hmm. uh, because it's, uh, it's what's called an adaptogenic, which means that it reads the skin and hmm. if the skin needs more, um, oils, it'll help it achieve that. Amazing. And if the skin needs less oils, it'll help it achieve that. So it's a great uh, oil for any type of skin. Now we've just covered only two carrier oils and two essential oils out of that whole cleanser and I know that Anna has packed the cleanser with many other essential oils that if you again um, look for our future educational videos on the beautiful one um, aesthetic line you'll be able to find out a little bit more yes so our second step to a beautiful one um, treatment would be the toning part yes can you tell me why should we use a toner we should use a toner uh, because it's uh, we need to balance the uh, skin pH and uh, also uh, balance the sebum production of the skin. So that again, um, if it's too oily, then it'll balance itself. If it's too dry, it'll balance itself. Um, so how easy is so, it to apply a toner with beautiful one? Oh, it's extremely easy. Look at this. I just put a little dab in my palm and uh, I don't need a lot of this. It's a very concentrated product because of the essential oils in it. And uh, all you need to do is just apply to the whole face and the neck area and uh, you're done. And it smells great. It has lavender and alang alang in it. Mm. And um, it's also uh, amazingly beneficial for the skin because it's also uh, got witch hazel in it, which is an astringent. Hmm. So it closes the pores, uh, which we opened with a cleaning, <laughs> cleansing, cleansing process. Yes. And uh, now they're back uh, again to where they're supposed to be. 
and uh, the lavender uh, is soothing to the skin, mm -hmm. so uh, it'll uh, induce uh, relaxation and calm in the client, mm -hmm. uh, which is inducing also to self-healing. And uh, the Alang Alang will do the balancing and it smells great. It does. So after the toning, we normally do a massage. Today we're not going to demonstrate the massage, but again, look in the future to our educational videos on the full and complete line. The next step would be the massage, and also please use the cold pressed carrier oils to complete this massage. After the massage, we'd want to apply the mask. Can you tell us a little bit about the mask? Yes, the mask is a beautiful um, mask that's based on Kaolin, mm -hmm. which is a type of clay, and uh, that is beautifully cleansing. Okay. So it's a it goes for a deeper cleansing process. It also removes any oils that mm -hmm. might have been uh, uh, left behind from the mm -hmm. massage oil, mm -hmm. and uh, it helps prepare the skin for the um, for the day cream that comes mm -hmm. um, right after this. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty thick product so that means that you won't need a lot um, in the uh, in the treatment it also means that this bottle won't stay when I put mm -hmm. it in but, um, it's it's applied with a brush and uh, it uh, is full of um, beautiful antioxidants uh, such as sea kelp and uh, chlorophyll, among other things. But um, also, um, it doesn't just detoxify, it actually nourishes, because um, it's not just uh, uh, kaolin and uh, chlorophyll and sea kelp, but it, of course it has the essential oils in it. And uh, those nourish uh, the skin while cleansing. So uh, that's the beauty of um, essential oils of natural products. Mm -hmm. The fact that um, they're not doing just one thing, they're doing multiple things at the same time. And um, also uh, uh, benefiting different types of skin um, with the same product. So um, different types of skin will be able to take from this what they need. So this is why this makes it such a, an easy and just an easy line to use. You do not have to be a licensed esthetician. You can be a massage therapist and you can incorporate this easily into your practice. Now the mask is an extra step. Uh, cleanse, atone, and a moisturize just to finish off a massage therapy treatment would be wonderful without having the mask because like Rexandra did say, the mask is for a deeper cleansing. If you did want to incorporate the mask into the treatment, once you leave the mask on for a couple of minutes, you can go to work another part of the body. You can work the arms or you can work the legs. Um, use the extremities or that time to, to do maybe hands. Would that be... That would be, yeah, that that's would work what very I do well. in my, in yeah. my uh, treatment. But again, it's a very versatile line. You can use the mask or you can go without the mask. It makes it very, very easy. Yeah. And, you know, also without the mask, you're talking about uh, uh, massage therapists. They can just do very easily the cleanser, toner, moisturizer. moisturizer. Yeah. And it doesn't take more than five minutes. It completes the, the whole body mm -hmm. treatment. Experience. Um, yeah. And it's very, very pleasant for the uh, for the client at the end of it. They feel so relaxed, and the products smell amazing. They they smell, uh, of course, of the essential oils, mm -hmm. and uh, it it makes for a really pleasant experience. So one one final question with respect to the mask: How long should they leave it on for? Um, for about five minutes. Wonderful. Let's move on. So we just finished doing the mask, and after the mask, you are going to tone the face again. And then you're going to apply either a day cream or a night cream. Roxandra's going to tell us a little bit about the day cream first, and then she'll tell us a little bit about the night, and then we've completed our simple, beautiful one facial. Yes. So uh, some of the ingredients on the uh, day cream are uh, cocoa butter, uh, which is truly the ultimate moisturizer. It's very um, smooth and velvety, and uh, doesn't feel at all greasy. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great antioxidant, and uh, that means that it cleans the free radicals, um, which makes it a good protector. Wonderful. 
Um, it also has rosehip seed oil, um, which as a seed is full of vitamin C and uh, regenerating properties. And uh, it's also an antioxidant. And uh, with frankincense, uh, which is an we, essential oil, which is an essential and we did, oil, and we did a little mm -hmm. bit on the on the Shroud, cooling properties yep. of it, uh, but it's uh, also a great balancing oil, and uh, it's good for um, um, more mature skin actually, uh, but not only um, because it uh, restructures the collagen mm -hmm. under the skin, so it makes for smooth skin. And again, a lot more essential oils in the day cream. Yes, and uh, also just to uh, to show you how much of this day cream you need, which is the same with the uh, night cream, you need to just take a little bit on a Q-tip and you've got all the necessary day cream that you need to use for this. Um, I'll just cover this up again so it doesn't get dust in it. And um, that completes your facial. And of course, if uh, the facial is done in the evening time, mm -hmm. um, you will want to use the night cream because um, that has uh, um, more um, repairing mm -hmm. uh, properties. So um, the night cream um, actually has borage oil in it, which is very high in uh, gamma linoleic acid um, and it regenerates the cells. Um, you have evening primrose oil, which is also very rich in uh, essential fatty acids, mm -hmm. which are building blocks for um, all our cells. Um, it uh, has uh, geranium in it, which we've covered with yes. the uh, cleanser. Uh, it's a great uh, adaptable oil to all skin types. And myrrh, which is also a great repair oil. Um, it's great for um, any type of um, skin distress. Um, and uh, it improves the circulation and preserves youthful complexion, which is what we want. Yes. So I want to thank Ruxandra today for coming you, in and doing a wonderful demonstration on the beautiful one skincare line. It was a pleasure having you it tell us about it. It was entirely my pleasure. <laughs> So we look forward to seeing you all again to take us through something a little more complex with the line if you want, but if you want to keep it simple, Beautiful One is the way to go. Thank you again.